So I've been treasurer and secretary for eight years and in that time we've just seen a slow decline in its use because it was getting more and more shabby and we just want to see it used again. And like I said, it would have been brilliant to have this asset here after the fires where we could come and bump into people, have that accidental communication because yeah. you really felt quite lonely because we were all burnt out. We were stuck, surrounded by the smoke to look after, yeah. had to try and make sure our husbands were okay, they just lost their livelihood. And to just be able to come here and have a hot shower, the kids could have had a play with their friends, it would have been really great. Mm. So that's what a place of refuge and a community hub. Mm. Yeah, that's really um, what it's all about, isn't it? To yeah. be able to gather yeah. rather than, as you're saying, being stuck in your own yeah. place and where everything's going on, yeah. but to be able to... Absolutely. Yeah. Because it was quite oppressive. You'd look outside and there's a smoke and you'd think, what's everyone else doing? And we couldn't have those incident meetings where you could just say, how are you going? Yeah. <laughs> you know? Business Council Australia, Biz Rebuild, are funding the interior beautification of the hall. Um, we've got money from St Vinnie's to polish the floors. Ah. Um, we're getting the showers are going to be built and the kitchen upgrade. Um, border traps, which will be fantastic because you can't have this beautiful hall and not a functional kitchen. No. So that'll mm. ensure that when people are hiring the hall, it's actually functional for catering yeah. and it's a beautiful space. Mm. Even, you know, the kitchen's your hub. So it'd be really nice to have that space mm. just as beautiful as the rest of mm. the hall. So we're really grateful. And to have a new fridge and appliances will be yeah. wonderful. Yeah. And in yeah. those times, like in the good times, it's wonderful, but it in is. the bad times, it's kind of critical, which is. is really... Absolutely. Yeah. Mm. And just to know if we had had a freezer here, we could say, right, we've got no power, but there's solar power at the hall. Come and put your meat in the big chest freezer or, you know, have a little section because a lot of us lost a lot of food as mm. well. So that's mm. great. So the time frame for the kitchen is, so I'm, we've got Simon Patton and Cabinetry building the kitchen and we're hoping that once the floors are done by the end of April, that he can then come in and put the kitchen in. So And then the grand the opening? The grand opening will be in spring. Spring, yes. yes. I think we're yeah. free. Yeah, so there's other halls. We've, there are other halls in the district. We've sort of joined forces. We'd love to be under one banner of Upper Murray Halls yeah. in mm. the end and mm. really promote small halls as your hubs of your little communities mm. and we've sort of joined forces and we'd love to have a grand opening weekend for all the halls yeah, so they're getting renovated so mm. we'll wait till spring and have a big party. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think, yeah, I think we can come. No, Great. it really feels good and I think um, then for, for people who've kind of donated because yeah. they they know that the money has stayed really local yeah. and to be able to see that is really yeah. important for people. It is so really days important. like today is just about saying this is the start of. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. it's exciting. It mm. is great. And people love seeing projects going on. It gives them energy in recovery mm. as well. You might think, oh, because we still have work to do. I mean it's been a whole year since the fires, but there's still a lot of work to do. But if people see progress and they see things happening, it can give them energy to get on with their own mm. projects and it does cost two thousand dollars every year to keep the hall here mm -hmm. so we've had to fundraise that every year mm. we usually do that um, man from snow river bush festival we oh, have yeah, campus yeah. here mm. we have campus here every year for the festival we did last year because of covid we missed out on that um, and we do egg and bacon rolls on the on the barbecue for breakfast and they come down and it's five dollars for an egg and bacon roll my husband before he milks the cows comes down and lights the fire pit so they <laughs> <laughs> and, we sit down and it's just wonderful. They can come to the festival, but then be just five kilometres out of town, yeah. sitting by the fire, having egg and bacon roll. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's right, which nice. is really nice. And we seem to be getting the same people coming back mm. every year. Mm. So next year we'll be able to offer them a hot shower as yeah. well. <laughs> and a kitchen. $10. Yeah, yeah exactly. We'll be putting your price up a little bit. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, I think that's great. And um, yeah, I, I just, it's so, so nice to see it and yeah, um, yeah it's just what makes it kind of all worthwhile. Like I think that's in my email, it's the best part of the year.